وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد This inshallah ta'ala is uh, our sixth uh, episode but it's our fifth lesson uh, In this inshallah ta'ala uh, episode or lesson بإذن الله الكريم I want to speak about خصوصيات رمضان Things that are specific to رمضان Things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to this great noble month, this blessed month, Shahru Ramadan. I'm going to mention three things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the month of Ramadan and blessed the month of Ramadan with. The first is Salatu Taraweeh. Salatu Taraweeh is to revive every single night in Ramadan with prayer. Ramadan It is to revive every single night of Ramadan with prayer. fiha. It is to recite lengthy surahs in prayer. Uh, it was called Salatu Tarawih. لأنهم, because the Salaf al-Salih, the pious predecessors, كانوا يستريحون بين كل تسليمتين Between every sal- two uh, salams, they, they used to relax. يعني they pray four and they relax. After every two تسليمتين, the first two, they relax after that. Pay attention here. Um, so... They pray two rak'ah, that's considered taslimatayn, and then after that, uh, they pray another two rak'ah, and that's four now, and then they relax for a bit, before they move on to the next four. And then they move on to the next four, and then it becomes eight, and then they relax again, and then they pray the three witr, and then it's eleven. Hakada, that's why it was called Salatul Taraweeh. Ponder here. That's the reason why the name was given. And it was known for their recitation to be lengthy and long and etc. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in a hadith that Imam Al-Bukhari and Muslim both narrated in a sahih in hadith Abi Huraira. Man qama Ramadan. Anyone who stands up in the month of Ramadan iman wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. Anyone who stands in the month of Ramadan in prayer and comes with two characteristics, two qualities. The first one is uh, iman and faith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wahtisaba, hoping reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will be given to you? You will be given uh, the uh, forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will forgive you for all of your past sins. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something unique for Ramadan. The second, insha'Allah ta'ala, is Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr, it's a month, or sorry, it's a night in the month of Ramadan that is better than Alf, a thousand months. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min Alf shahr. It is better than a thousand months, which is 830, sorry, 83 or 84, 83 or 84, Years, taqriban. 80 something years. It's better than just that one night by itself. And that is the night that if you stand up again, you get the reward of Laylatul Qadr and you get the reward of Man Qama Ramadan Iman and Wahtisaba or Fira Lahu Mata Qadr min Dambi. You get both. So it's that night which is in the uh, month of Ramadan that inshallah ta'ala we're all working hard to inshallah ta'ala to grab and to benefit from that night and to beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
uh, and say to him, Allahumma innaka afuun kareemun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. Ama Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are one who forgives and loves forgiveness. Forgive me, my Lord. That is what we're going to be saying that night and reviving that dua on that night. The third khususiyat Ramadan, the third thing that Allah has given the month of Ramadan is mudaafatul ujur. The acts that are done in this month are multiplied. The good that you do in Ramadan is multiplied. It's not any other month. It's only Ramadan. That whatever you do within Ramadan, it is multiplied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies it for you. It was narrated in the hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that كُلُّ عَمَلِ بْنِ آدَمَ يُضَاعَفُ الْحَسَنَةِ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا إِلَى سَبْعِمِئَةِ ضِعْفٍ قَالَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ إِلَّا الصَّوْمَ فَإِنَّهُ لِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ Every act of the children of Adam is uh, multiplied, the righteous deed that they do is multiplied uh, 10 up to 700. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, إِلَّا الصَّوْمَ Except fasting. Fasting doesn't take that. فَإِنَّهُ li Fasting is mine وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ يعني fasting gets another type of accountability. It's not like the normal hasana. Yani it's, it gets the reward of that hasana and something else. فَإِنَّهُ li Allah is saying it's mine means this is more than that. All the other acts it gets multiplied, 10 up to 700. So much. As for fasting, Allah said, no, no, this one, it's mine. And I'm going to reward you based on it. And when Allah says that, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is concealing the reward that he's going to give us. He's not mentioning to us. The scholars, they say, it shows, it indicates that the thing that Allah is going to give us is far greater than what we can, that it's far greater than what we can comprehend and understand. What Allah is going to give us is going to be bigger and greater than what we can think of. These three are things that are found in the month of Ramadan. Virtues and good that are in this month. Unique things that we can get. The first one is Salatul Taraweeh. That's what we can get. The second one is Laylatul Qadri. And the third one is Mudaafatul Ujuri. The righteous deeds are multiplied to a number that we can never comprehend. We can't understand how far and how large it's going to be the person who fasts in this great month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be from those people who pray Salatul Taraweeh and do not miss it. Especially this time where many of us will not be able to go to the masajids. The doors of the masajids are locked. We can't be praying in the masajids لا نفلا ولا فرضا We can't pray the obligatory prayers and we can't even pray the voluntary prayers. It is this time that we revive the jama'ah in the house, we revive the taraweeh and everything in the house and we pray together in our households with our siblings and our parents. We also make sure that Laylatul Qadr we look for it and make sure that we get hold of, held of it, that we get we get that night and also we understand that this month the righteous deeds are multiplied so we do every form of good there is oh allah allow us to be from that subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk assalamu alaykum if you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running make sure you head over to amauathome.com